Over 40 years since the discovery of HIV, we still don't have a cure. Yet, for COVID-19, a virus that emerged just a few years ago, vaccines were developed and rolled out within a year. Why the difference? Today, we're breaking down the science, the challenges, and the progress behind these two very different viruses. HIV and COVID-19 may seem similar. They're both viruses that have impacted millions of lives and driven global health emergencies. But they're fundamentally different in how they operate, how they infect the body, and how we can fight them. COVID-19 is caused by a coronavirus, known as SARS-CoV-2. It spreads primarily through respiratory droplets, causing respiratory symptoms. It's a virus that our bodies can typically clear, given time and a strong immune response. In contrast, HIV is a retrovirus. It targets the immune system itself, specifically attacking CD4 cells key players in our body's defense system. The key difference lies in how these viruses behave once inside the body. HIV isn't just a virus that infects and moves on it becomes a part of us. It integrates its genetic material into our DNA. This is why it's called a retrovirus. It essentially turns back the clock and hides within our cell's genetic code. The body's immune system can't recognize these infected cells as threats because they look like any other cell. COVID-19, on the other hand, doesn't integrate into our DNA. It hijacks our cells to make copies of itself, but once the body recognizes the virus, it can mount an attack to eliminate it. This fundamental difference is a huge factor in why finding a cure for HIV is so much harder. Another significant difference is the mutation rate. COVID-19 has mutated, creating variants like Delta and Omicron, but HIV mutates even faster by orders of magnitude. This makes it incredibly adaptable. HIV's high mutation rate means that it's always one step ahead of our immune system and our treatments. When researchers develop drugs or potential vaccines for HIV, the virus often mutates before the treatment can be fully effective. It's like trying to hit a target that constantly changes its position and appearance. Many people wonder how we developed vaccines for COVID-19 so quickly. The answer lies in timing, technology, and global collaboration. mRNA vaccine technology, which was used for the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines, wasn't invented overnight. It's based on research that had been ongoing for over a decade. Researchers had already been exploring mRNA technology for other viruses, like the flu and even Zika. When COVID-19 hit, they were able to pivot quickly, using the spike protein of the coronavirus as the target for the vaccine. This rapid pivot wouldn't have been possible without years of groundwork. For HIV, the focus isn't just on developing a vaccine, it's on finding a cure. There's a crucial distinction. While a vaccine primes the immune system to prevent infection, a cure aims to eliminate every last trace of the virus from an infected person's body. Given how HIV hides within our DNA, this is a monumental task. Even when we use antiretroviral therapy art, which can suppress the virus to undetectable levels, the virus still lurks in reservoirs hidden pockets within the body. These reservoirs can reactivate and start replicating if treatment stops, which is why lifelong medication is currently the standard. Despite the challenges, there have been significant breakthroughs in HIV research. We've seen the development of long-acting injectable medications, which reduce the need for daily pills, and scientists are exploring gene editing technologies like CRISPR to directly target and remove HIV-infected cells. CRISPR offers a potential pathway to a functional cure. By cutting out the HIV DNA integrated into human cells, we might one day eliminate the virus entirely. However, we're still in the early stages of this research, and there's much to learn. The road to a cure for HIV has been long and challenging, but it's not due to a lack of effort or interest. HIV is one of the most heavily researched viruses in history, but its unique characteristics have made it incredibly resilient. The good news is that the global response to COVID-19 has shown what's possible when we mobilize resources and prioritize public health. The lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic could help accelerate HIV research in ways we haven't seen before. So, while a COVID-19 vaccine was developed quickly due to its more straightforward biology and existing research infrastructure, HIV remains a more complex adversary, 
but progress is being made, and with new technologies and continued research, we're closer than ever to finding a solution. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We'll keep you updated on the latest in HIV research and other health breakthroughs. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. 